Ray here, NorCal Bees, and today's the moment of truth. We uh, put in our cells from our starter about seven days, not about seven days ago, and now we're going to pull it out and see what kind of take we got. So it's been seven days, and we're going to pull them out of here and move them over into the incubator. And then in two more days, we will. put them into the mating newt. So that means tomorrow I'll be setting up my mating nukes. So <laughs> these are supposed to be really nice bees, but for whatever reason they were just they're kind of pissy ass bees. Not the best bees for grafting, but they seem to be doing a good job as far as grafting cells. So we're gonna run one more batch through them. We're in mid-June. There we have it. We have drawn some uh, excess comb in there. Even though I gave them two frames to work on. I put these in two days ago. Completely foundation only. And they've already dr drawn all that out. Because uh, I was afraid they were going to do a little crazy comb in here. But let's see what we got going here. Besides pissed off peas. All right, that looking like a pretty good take to me. Pretty darn good take. Pretty happy here. One, two, three, four, five, six, 35 out of 45. Not too shabby. Um, it's actually 36. So that's a pretty darn good take. So what we're going to do now is we got the uh, 1550 hatcher here. The big incubator. We're going to start pulling the cells out. Some of them we have to cut out of that crazy comb, but that's no big deal. We'll put them in here, and then uh, two days later from now, we will um, put them into some mating nukes. All right. I'll have to go get a hive tool to pop these out. But uh, Nice yeah, cell. You can see the hatch where the queen is going to pop out here starting to form. One of the really good things about being able to put these in an incubator and uh, putting them in these little foam cells here is that if any of these hatch out prematurely, I don't have to worry about them going out and destroying the rest of the queens because they are trapped underneath this little plastic plug here. So, um, yeah, keep it at uh, right at 94 degrees and um, keeps the humidity just right, about 60%. So here they'll rest for the next couple days, and after that, it's on to the mating news. Night night, ladies.